Good morning, this is a Geometry 2-1.1. There'll be one more video after this. Uh, but just looking at parallel lines, skew lines, and parallel planes. And uh, before we could get into the definition of these, we kind of just need to look at what are planes. And so uh, in front of us here, I'll label this. Let's call this plane ABCD, and this will be called um, EFGH. Okay. So a plane is simply just a two-dimensional area. So it's a two-dimensional area um, that exists in space, and I haven't drawn all the types of planes that uh, could exist. So just to show you other ones, uh, I could have drawn a vertical piece of paper, or you know, a piece of paper could be an example of what a plane is. So that could be another plane. Um, I could have drawn one that you know, looks like it's facing us. And again, though, uh, if you just tilted this a little bit, you're, le you're left with it, a new plane, or if you tilt it a little bit more, a new plane, or you know, now it's almost flat, a new plane. So you can see anything in the spectrum is going to create, I mean, there's an infinite amount of planes that I could have drawn. But for our definition, we're just going to focus on plane uh, ABCD and plane EFGH. So just these two planes right here. So looking at parallel lines, uh, there's two parts of this definition. The first part is that they're coplanar. Coplanar means, and you might be able to figure it out, that lines exist on the same plane. So if we're just working on this first plane, here's line segment AB. And another line that is coplanar is line segment AD. Uh, these are not parallel, but they're coplanar. Um, the second part of what parallel lines are is that they do not intersect. And you'll see why line AD is not parallel. So again, uh, line segment AD intersects right here. So these are not parallel lines. Parallel lines need to not intersect. So line segment DC here, um, if these lines were to go on forever, they would never intersect. And why is that? Um, it's because the space between them is preserved. And so this distance that's between these lines um, will never change. And so these lines are parallel and they'll never, never intersect no matter how long those lines go on for. So just recapping again, um, you have their coplanar parallel lines and they also do not intersect. Uh, now let's look at skew lines. So skew lines the first part is that they're non-coplanar. Non-coplanar, I'm sure you might be able to figure this out, is that they don't exist on the same plane. And I'm also going to write here the second part of it is that they, um, they're not parallel lines. And we'll see the relationship between this. First of all, let's look at line segment AD. So what line is non-coplanar? It appears um, that EF could be non-coplanar, but that's not true. Um, and we'll look at, because they also look parallel, right? And this says that they can't be parallel. And so I just want to look at this relationship. Again, I haven't drawn every plane. And so this is a plane right here that I haven't drawn. And now that you can see that there, you can see that I'm breaking um, this rule that they're not non-coplanar. These are coplanar. Uh, AD would be coplanar to EH. So be careful that, you know, within... A, a drawing, not all planes are going to be drawn, so you need to make sure that they're that they're not non coplanar or that they are non coplanar. So EF wouldn't work, but what about FG? Well, that would work. Um, AD and FG would be non coplanar, and they're not parallel. Uh, and the last part is that these lines, I'll just do this. They do not intersect, so this applies both to this and this. So skew lines also do not intersect, and you can see if AD was going to go on forever, FG since it's on a different plane. Uh, is underneath this one. Um, it's gonna. It would. It, it's going underneath that. So this line's on top. They don't exist in the same plane, so they'll never intersect. So just recapping again, you have they're non-coplanar, uh, they're not parallel, and they do not intersect. And when it's asking you to identify, hey, what's skew with AD? Don't just look at that they're not on the same plane because it might not have drawn. Uh, EF is an undrawn plane that it could exist on. So make sure that they're not on the same plane. Lastly, we have parallel planes. Parallel planes um, also do not intersect. Um, so let's work with plane A, B, C, D. So here's a plane. And I'll use a different color. Uh, let's say we also have plane E, F, G, H. So if these planes were to go on forever, so you have this plane here going on forever, and you also have the plane... A, B, C, D that went on forever. And 
I'll make this quick here. You could see that, again, the distance between these would always be preserved. It, or it would never, they'll never collapse or intersect each other. So these planes, no matter how far they went on, uh, the distance between here and here, um, I don't know if you can see this gap now that exists, is always the same, and these planes would never intersect. So just recapping again, parallel lines, they exist on the same plane, they're coplanar, uh, they do not intersect. Skew lines, non-coplanar, they need to exist on different planes, um, they also do not intersect. And lastly, parallel planes, so you're looking at two planes now uh, that would never intersect. All right, hope you had fun with this. Uh, go ahead and answer the questions in your workbook, and then I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, bye. Made with DoodleCast Pro.